Alright, JVs, here we are on the back end of Mobile ATM. I want to give you guys a quick rundown on what this does so you can see how powerful this plugin is. On the business pages here, we'll just go to Add New. All you do is select a template. They can create as many landing page templates as they want. Go with Ron's Bar, Ron 555. We're just going to use a test email account on this domain so you can see it. We will act like that's their domain. We're going to put an example mobile website here. Click Add. Boom, it's created. And we go back to mobile pages here. Let's go ahead and preview what this page looks like that it just created on the fly. Scroll down here. Here's what their website looks like on mobile phone. Here's what the test mobile website looks like so you can show it off. All this is editable. It's got short codes down here. Enter their phone number. Contact me. So that's the gist of it. It gets really exciting here. Let's delete this and start fresh. So here we are on the business pages with nothing there. Bring up this demo list, the CSV file I have. Template, company name, I left these two empty. All these are going to my test account just so I can show you email and the company URL and the example URL. So you can put different mobile websites here. A dentist will match up to a dentist or whatnot. And this is all easily outsourced. So let's go ahead and upload this one. And then when you click upload, watch how quickly it creates these 20 pages. Click. They're all done. So let's look at two different ones. Trash and Wheels, Busy Bee Cafe. Here's their website. Here's an example website. Their website, a different example website. So you can mass create these and customize them as you go. Let's go back here. Here's the email account, the test email account. As you can see, it's empty. I'm just going to choose the first five here so I can show you. We do have throttles in place so they can't go crazy and send out too many at one time. Bulk send. It's going to take just a minute. While it's doing that, let's go back into the dashboard here. And go through some of the options here. The uh, landing page templates. Here's the default one. They can make as many templates as they want. They can name it something like restaurants. So you can have a separate landing page for restaurants. Business name, short code. All those have been sent now. Uh, template title, this is what's at the top of the page. This template heading, there's some preloaded one here so they can use graphical images or they can use this just like a WordPress uh, editor right here and this is what's all up here. Down below here is the template content and that's all that's what's down here so they can make different templates. Same thing with emails, they can have as many emails as they want. Same thing, create new. They can use different subject lines, name the template, use all these short codes in here. Now down here in settings, this plugin is super simple to set up. Two phones, they can choose to use one phone too. Uh, QR code is turned off right now, I just forgot to turn it on. When it's on, they will create a QR code below each of these right here. So it will be that, and then a QR code dynamically created for this website, and a QR code dynamically created for this website. So they can take their phone out and scan these to see that we're not making stuff up. This is really what it looks like. Then down here, the email, you can do PHP through your own domain or SMTP if you want to set up your own email client. Read notify integration so you can track your emails. Send email on view, send email on submit. So this means when somebody views the page, you'll get an email. When somebody clicks submit and puts their phone number or name and phone number down here, you'll get an email. And we have Twilio integration for the pro version. So basically, same thing, SMS on view, SMS on submit. They can use a free trial account. So they can get a text message every time somebody enters their information here. It'll all be sent to their cell phone, so they can call them back right away. So let's go back here. All these have been sent. Let's go to the inbox here. They're all here. Uh, it dynamically creates a short URL here. So this will click on this. And here's the landing page it was created. As you can see, it's a slightly different URL, so it automatically creates that short code. And let's go here and copy this. 
copy link location. All right, you see right here, viewed, no, no, no. Uh, since I'm logged into here, it's not going to show that I viewed it. But it, let me open up Chrome real quick. Now I'm just going to copy and paste this URL in here. It's going to open up the landing page. Now if I come back here, click on this again, it'll show this page was viewed today. As you see here, there's no contact name or phone number for this one. So if I bring Chrome back up and go down here, AJ615- and put contact me contact me yeah this is all editable this text right here now if we go back here and update this as you can see the name is dynamically added so when you create the page if you had a different name in here and they put a different name in there it'll automatically update to the right contact name if you had a phone number in here before it'll dynamically update to the phone number they want called at and you can see that it was submitted on October 25th, 2012 at 2122. So, with all that going on, let me pull up a different email account. Adam at mobijive.info, access webmail. Show you the emails that are fired off. Page view, it says the company name page view. It says their website, their test, their email. It shows they viewed their page. If we go back here, once they click the submit, here's the company name, the contact name, the phone number, their website, and their email address. So all this is fired off as it happens. Um, and that's about it um, basically the bulk send down here we were going to have them we have it set up to where say you got 10 restaurants here you just click the 10 restaurants then down here you can grab I'll create a new template real quick let's go with email templates add new restaurant email subject Let's go with the pretty version of their URL. I can't view. Boom. Hey. Display links to personalized business pages. This is the short link they'll get. Your site. Sucks on a mobile phone. Check it out here. AJ. And then we'll add this template. So when we come back here, let's go back to business pages. Now let's say we want to send off to these three right here. We come down here and these three are going to be restaurants. So we can do restaurants, bulk send. It's going to bulk send those through here. And then we'll go back to the test email account. And log into this. And as you can see, their uh, emails are being sent here. Their sample page is here. You can see the short codes are working. I can't view very short URL, just a URL.com. So you can make as many customized landing pages and email templates as you want. These have all been sent, um, all automated. They can download the CSV file right here and give it to their outsourcer so they can upload these. You can upload a file with a thousand accounts in here or a thousand file or a thousand companies with all their information. Click upload and have it created on the fly. Uh, let's set up the QR code so you can see what that looks like.
Where's that? Right here. We'll do update business pages. Now I don't know if this will go in after the fact and add the QR codes to them. But if it's turned on before, they'll do it right here. So let's just go back and create a new one real quick with the QR codes. You can see that. Now let's go find that one that was created. Let's go to next. Here it is. If you go to preview, it's going dynamically. Eh, it didn't show up in this one. I I don't know if I clicked update on settings when I did that. Either way, no. Go yes. Update. Now let's see if it'll do it dynamically after the fact. Reload. Nope. So let's go redo that one real quick. Delete this one. And we'll add new. And go template default ROMs, ROM, phone number. We'll test a movie drive. Add. Now we'll go here and sort by contact name. Preview this out. And the QR codes are not showing up. Alright, the QR codes do work. I just might be doing something wrong on this video. So basically, you can bulk create pages. Uh, we've had 250 beta testers in this from our own list. Have been in there and tried to break it. We got all the bugs worked out. Uh, down below, we got some bonuses we got going on. We're going to have a two-hour fast action. Most sales in the first two hours. Most sales in the first day. We are going live on Tuesday, October 20, October 30th at 11 a.m. Eastern. Uh, fill out the form on the right and get on the JV list for the bump code. If you want a review copy, my contact information is down below. If you hit me up on Skype, I'll walk you through this plugin and share my screen so you can see it in action. Anything else you guys need, just let me know. Alright, thanks.